Hello, everybody, and welcome back. We are on question 22 of our 2011 Fermat paper. The number of pairs of positive integers, PQ, with P plus Q less than or equal to 100 that satisfy the relationship P plus Q inverse, so that's 1 over Q, divided by P inverse plus Q is equal to 17 is. Now, 17 is kind of an interesting number. It's a prime number. Uh, it's a well-known favorite of a, someone I know, uh, so I suspect he may have made the question, but that doesn't really help us here. What I want to do is, well, first I want a fresh sheet of paper, but I'm first going to change the q to the negative 1 to 1 over q, same with p here, and I'm going to get a common denominator. I want to simplify all the fractions here. So we can say PQ plus 1 over Q, and then uh, 1 plus PQ over P. We can invert and multiply, so we'll get PQ plus 1 over Q times P over PQ plus 1. So really what we've got is P over Q, and that's equal to 17. So P is 17 times Q, and these are positive integers. So we know p is at least going to be 17. And um, well, what else do we know? We want p plus q to be less than or equal to 100, but I know what p is. So we get 17q plus q has to be less than or equal to 100. 18q has to be less than or equal to 100. So q is a nice, neat little positive integer. But it's also got to be less than or equal to 100 over 18. Now, what's 100 over 18? Well, you can divide by 2 and say it's 50 over 9. But uh, it should be 5. I'm just going to double check on my calculator. 100 divided by 18 is about 5.5 .5 repeating. So Q is between 1 and 5. So our pairs are going to be, well, P would be 17, 1, and then uh, we'd have 34 and 2. So you just, you just figure out your Q value and then multiply 17 by that to figure out the P value. So 51. And then uh, what's the next one? 68 and 4. 85 and 5. And the next one would be too big. So we don't deal with it. Okay. Uh, but what did we want? The number of pairs? 5. We had that a little while ago when, when we knew the values of Q. So there's going to be our answer, E, and we're all done. And yeah, there's nothing really else to say. I mean, if you want to, just because we did that quite quickly, you could double check that your understanding is correct. You know, you could pick something at random, 51 and 3, and say, okay, 51 plus 1 third divided by 1 51st plus 3. Just grab your calculator and work that out. 53 and a third divided by, and then in brackets, I'll have 1 over 51 plus 3. And look at that. It, got, it became 17. Okay, So everything works out. Uh, we know they're positive integers, so we don't have to worry about 0, 0 or anything like that. And if you wanted to do the next one, you'd have, I think, 1026 would just would add up to more than 100. So there we go. All right, up next, we're going to take a look at question number 23. If you haven't given it a try, I would encourage you to do so. I will see you there. Take care.